All right, Facebook fam, Facebook land, 96706 and beyond. We are at Hawaiian Homestead. Um, uh, I guess you can say uh, office, building. Um, where they're going to have the commission hearing about what time? About 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock commission hearing. You want to come down here and sign wave with us to, you know, let everybody know that how important our $600 million is to be spent in a, uh, I guess, a pono way, uh, uh, making sure that the people that's leading Hawaiian homes know what they do um, with the money. You guys seen the hearings? The proof is in the pudding. Oh, wait, I got to change them. Sorry, I changed them because I'm Hawaiian. The proof is in the poi. Bottom line, guys, we get $170 million that we got to spend before March. And um, we had a beautiful Hawaiian home meeting last night for Ever Beach. Thanks to all my family and friends in Ever Beach for coming out and voicing you guys' opinion and you guys' concern. It was well heard. Like I said, it's not the people that work in the building that we have a problem with. It's the new regime and the new leadership that's trying to come in and change things. You know, guys, you know, I'm going to tell you guys right now. You know what is the biggest concern for me besides the $600 million to keep Hawaiian lands out of Ikaika's hands? You know, you know, there is no person that can watch these videos and say that he is the guy that's going to take the Hawaiian people to the promised land. Okay? He doesn't walk on water. He doesn't, and I, I, I don't even know if he, he, he drink river, river water from the mountain. Nah, nah, nah. But anyway, getting back to the subject here, guys. Okay, we get an opportunity right now to make a stand now and let everybody know the true reason why we're out here is because there is no plan, there is no future, there is no nothing. Yeah, we got to keep Hawaiian lands out of Ikaika's hands. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. The bottom line is, guys, they talk about beneficial consultation. They already had that. Commissions made a, made a stand to do the plan back in December. They allocated some of the funds. Now, if you come in as a governor's uh, a selection, do your homework. This is why I say this, guys. Do your homework. People in this building prepped him, gave him the information. Then he tells us, not once, Senator De La Cruz asked him, how much of the original plan you're going to go with? And he said, no, I'm diverting from the plan and I'm going to put in my five-point plan. Okay? The commissioners never took that stand. That's the reason why I'm here today. I'm going to make sure I go in there and I want to listen. I want to listen to what they get for say. Guys, this is the biggest opportunity the community has of our Hawaiian people getting what they deserve. 600 million. And then you get, you get a person that quit his job, lied to the kupuna, and hurt his people. Cannot. So again, if he never come, and and, and, and not once, but twice, um, I don't wanna use the word lie. No, no, I gotta use the word. He lied to us, and then his staff gets up and say, oh, we're already in a process about 50 million dollars of the original plan. The Senator De La Cruz said, wait a minute, I thought you guys said you guys are doing none of the plan. They already implemented from back in December when they approved the plan to allocate money to the different communities, like Ever Beach and all the areas. They, they, they give a list. Go look for them, I'm gonna look for them too. Go look for them, they give a list that they allocated so much money. Ever Beach, they allocated for 600 homes not definitely, but that's what that was the goal that they had set money aside of the 170 million guys. You gotta be straight now. Uh, Hawaiian Homes doesn't have 600 million to spend right now. They have to spend 170 plus million, and then ask for an extension so that they can go forward in the rest of the money. 
So I said of um, Ikaika, um, stick to the script. I said I've tried to do Robin Danners and uh, Shore's script and, and tried to implement that right away, right out of the gate. And that's the reason why he fell down on his face because he should have just went with the plan. Yeah, it's not the Ige's plan. I keep telling everybody. It's not the Ige's plan. It's the commissioner's plan. The commissioner's is the boss. Okay? That's the plan that they came up with, they voted on, and they went implement. Okay? Don't change the plan. So what he should have done, if you wanted to have a little bit, I'm not going to say smooth sailing because um, still get issues with this guy, but if he stuck to the plan, then he wouldn't have got a 600, 600, 600, six, six hour hearing the first time. Okay? Then the second time, he lied to my colleagues. I was in a meeting. I don't like hear anybody telling me that he did not say that he was going to divert from the plan. He used that word. I don't know what that means. What is that divert? I don't use that kind of big words. He wasn't going to fall in line. He wasn't going to do DV. the plan. Huh? DV. Oh, oh, see, see, there you go. I was wrong too. Wasn't, wasn't divert. DV. That's my word. Plan, yeah. He didn't use one word that I don't know. DV. Hey, 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 hey. You see, that's why I see. Like for me, I listen to my staff. Yeah, that's how I get smart too. You gotta be able to work with your staff. Yeah, you gotta work with them. Because that's how you know things. You can't come in one building that you don't know nothing. Deviate. Deviate. Okay, guys, please. Kalamai, remind me when I say wrong words. I'm not above anything, bro. I, I, I have room for correction. I'm not afraid to people correct me because I love all you guys, Facebook fan, Facebook land. But you know what the problem I have? Is when you come with arrogance and disrespect for my colleagues. Okay? When you disrespect my colleagues, I take it personal. I'm not sure if everybody feels the same way I feel, you know, in that building, but I take everybody in that building as my family. So when you lie to my family and you disrespect my family, yeah? <clears throat> I get a little bit upset. I'm very territorial like that. Yeah? I love each and every one of my senators. Every single one of them. I love their staff. I love Sergeant of Arms. I love the I love the um uh the, the clerks. You know? I love everybody in there. Why not in the house? You know what I'm saying? But the bottom line is What's that? West Side Pride. Pride. Oh, oh West Side Pride. So anyway, we get the aunties over here. West Side Pride, West Side Pride. All right, all right. So yeah, go ahead, sit down, you guys, sit down. I'm still on Facebook Live. I, I, I just want to change the song to keep Hawaiian lands out of Ikaika's hands, okay? So the bottom line is, guys, we start off small, right? Anything else, right? Just like Jericho, right? When Jericho went around, right? They said, you can never bust those walls. And Jericho said, yes, I can. Yes, I can. So right now, Ikaika thinks he's uh, the big wall. And I believe that we're Jericho, and we're going to sing the song, we're going to make the noise, we're going to play the music until the walls come tumbling down, okay? The walls need to tumbling down. Our people is too important, okay? If he had just not, the second hearing was worse than the first hearing, okay? A commissioner came up and contradict what he said contradict what he said. He said that he talked to the commissioners and they're going, what's the word again? Divert. And they're going to go with his plan. Okay, guys? Today is the first day of Aole Ikaka Anderson. Okay? Every island, every island, every neighbor island, every single homestead, non-homestead of us, people that was in the know, not in the know, you guys got to Send emails to the senators, to the governor, <clears throat> to everybody to let them know Aole Ikaika Anderson. Okay? Um, and, you know, he, he tell me he wanted to meet like that. You cannot meet with somebody that you don't agree to disagree. You cannot agree with him. Because there's nothing that he could have told me that's going to convince me that he's the leader of our people. He's not. He's not. 
what he did to the Kapunas, what he lied to the Kapunas, what he did, yeah? I don't think none of that personal. None of it. None of it is personal. But, but, when it comes to landfills, yeah, and he knows I get this issue with him, landfills, he chose number one, blue ribbon, choice, Amron Crater. Amron Crater. They decide to make it a bird sanctuary. Huh? Why they never make PVT in the around of the, the, the community that you can chew on stone and you can hit PVT? PVT is bigger than the mountain behind it. How come when it comes to our community? Yeah? That we gotta stand up for these kinds of rubbish. Literally. Right? Power plant over there, that, that power plant over there, right? Kahi, whatever they call them. Why Manalo dumb? Why Manalo dumb? Come on now, guys. Come on, PVT. Bruh, scientific data. Federal, you, you know I don't listen to the federal all the time. But when they when they when they come up with something that is kind of good, we gotta listen. They said everybody that lives next to this landfill, yeah, live 10 years less of their lives. Huh? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, Hawaiians. So why we never put them in Amaran Crater? Oh, because of the lining, this and that. What about Waimanalo? What about PVT right next to a river? You can slide down PVT into the river that goes through the ocean. Huh? How come now? Come on. Because, because, you can't have a lack of in that area. That area is far away from any houses. Far from any houses, schools, everything. It's in the, it's in the mountain in the middle of nowhere. But they close all the landfills and all the dumps on their side of the island and they come to our side of the island. Aole, already. Kaika doesn't have a plan. I don't know how much times you're going to go to the drawing board. Yeah? Back in the day, we used to use chalk on the drawing board. But he cannot use chalk. So now we use a kind of eraser pen or PowerPoint. Whatever. All this new technology. And I tell you guys again. The reason why i upset is because of what happened, what happened to my good friend for many, many years, Cedric. They fired Cedric, lovely family, loyal, loyal worker, never bother anybody, no pilikia. Keep a white lands out of Ikaika hands. Loyal to the soil. He used to make the meetings comfortable for people. Because of their lack of gathering, they fired him. They never let him go. They fired him. They fired. They fired Cedric. Right now. See this building? He went to all the islands. Set up all the meetings. Stay in this building to late at night. Prepping. Prepping for the meetings. And that's how you treat a loyal, loyal employee. It wasn't about the money for him. Never was. Not like some of the people that left this building. Right, Joby? Right, Joby? Huh? You got a nice pension, huh? From the Hawaiians. Huh? Right on, Joby. Thank you. You know the mess you did in here with the Nahasa money? Yeah? You know that. Come on now. Come on, guys. We, we got to stop recycling people that cannot be recycled. You know like how the caps? You know the caps above the water bottle? Yeah, you can't recycle that. They take off the caps and they throw them in the landfill. Yeah? We shouldn't have landfills. Right? That's what they do. Well, that's what we should do with the guys that we can't recycle over here. Go on. Go on. You guys don't understand. When you do this kind of stuff, when a new admin, don't get me wrong now. Like I said, you know, you know, Governor Josh Green is a good friend of mine. He's a very good friend of mine. I, I love him. I love his wife. I love his family. But I know all the calls that is being made is not from him. Because him, to me, I don't think he has a mean bone in his body neither. But get people surrounding him have a lot of mean bones. For whatever reason, they let power get to their head. They let power get to their head. 
So this is the thing, Facebook fam, Facebook land, 96706 and beyond. Us Hawaiians, huh? we don't prosper because get out of Hawaiian stepping on our throat. Told you guys we wasn't going to get that $100,000 per house. They found on Ray, they found on way to not give us the money, right? Aloha, right? They found on way. Hey, like I said, and I was supporting that because a lot of our family and friends died on the list. But hey, if they wanted to give $100,000 to alleviate some of the list waiters, hey, whatever. But I supported my colleagues, yeah? Because that's how you do it you sometimes when you try to fall in line and you listen to them, yeah? But guys, come down here, right across Wendy's, Kamakana Ali, right over here, Hawaiian Homestead, yeah? 10 o'clock the meeting will start pretty soon, guys, pretty soon. So we're going to go inside there. I'm going to listen to the rubbish. They're going to come out of Ikaika's mouth, try to force the commissioners to go with his five-point plan. And what is that word? Divert? Divert? Yeah, something like that, right? Divert. Right now. This is where we at, guys. Yeah. Bam. Well, let me turn them around the other way. Okay, this is where we at. This is the crew holding it down. Aole, aole, aole. Ikaika Anderson. So again, reason why it was necessary to come out here today is because the lies that was thrown. And then what I was learned, what I was learned, guys, that this meeting is actually illegal. Because I heard that they got to post the agenda seven days prior to the meeting. Well, they only want to post them on Monday from what I heard. So I'm not sure if this meeting is even legal. So again, guys, we need to stand our ground. Very important that we need leaders. Leaders that can be able to... And you guys all know, I had my issues with Isla, right? Right, uh, Director Isla. I had my issues with Deputy Director uh, Tyler Gomes. But I'm going to tell you right now, if I can re rewind them, I would rather work with uh, uh, William Isla and um, I'm Tyler Gomes, right? What happened to Tyler Gomes, guys? Huh? You guys know? So this is what I'm hearing. You, you know me. I get, you know, I get my ear. I don't know. I coconut wireless. Whatever you like call them. But you know what I heard, Facebook fam, Facebook clan? I heard. This was the, this was the, this is what they told Deputy, Deputy, um, and I never talked to him yet. I, I never talked to him. You know, I, I, I just was very because I heard that he would he would pull his name out of the hat, but I didn't know why he did it. Facebook fam, Facebook land. I find out the reason why Tyler, <coughs> Deputy Tyler, took out his name to be director. Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. <coughs> you have to take your marching orders from Robin Danner. Oops, oops, is that true? If I'm lying, I'm dying. Somebody correct me now, correct me. Robin Danner has more to say for our people than our people. I don't want to be Indian, Robin Danner, okay? Thank you for screwing up the Akaka bill, Robin. Yeah, come on now guys, get it straight. Ask Robin how she would screw up the Akaka bill. Come on, she's too busy living on the mainland. Come back over here. And then she like tell us, us who live here all our lives and never leave here, yeah, still here. And they tell us how we should be running our, our people. That's why I'm upset. And I said to me, Kaika, tell the truth that he's not running Hawaiian homes. Robin Danner is. Why? Because I was told if I would support Robin Danner, Aole, negative. Never in a hundred years. But what they did to Deputy Tyler Gomes, that's not Pono. You see, guys, we live on one island in the middle of nowhere. We all get together and we all sit down and talk story. Let's talk story, right? But the approach that they did this, 
this administration, right? all of this would have been silent. If they just would give all the guys who want to apply one chance to to uh, to have a, a hearing. So I heard uh, um, Bernard Cavallo was one of them. Yeah. Uh, when I applied for the deputy position, he got interviewed. He didn't even tell him anything when he got the thing. And then when people say in the newspaper like that, I, I hear all this kind of stuff that Ikeka was always the number one choice. That's not true. It's not true. Tyler was the first one. Tyler was the guy. They asked me if I could work with Tyler. I said the only thing I had problem with Tyler was about the gambling. Right? But I can work with Tyler. He's a good kid. But no, they decided to give him ultimatums and he was forced to resign. You know? So the bottom line is, guys, I'm going to list on my Facebook page. I'm going to list on my Facebook page. I'm going to show all kinds of names out there because everybody's saying, oh, if not Ikaika, then who? <clears throat> Tyler Gomes. I know Cedric never liked the job. Yeah, show Cedric in there. Stacy Eli. Uh, plenty more people. Uh, uh, Lehua. Yeah. <laughs> you got that right. You got that right, guys. But throw some names out there, guys, who would be great to lead our people to the promised land. You know, of course, we're going to have Jesus, you know, with us <clears throat> to help us. But no tell me because you speak Hawaiian. This is, the type, this is the kind of stuff I don't like. Yes, I cannot speak Hawaiian. I tried my best to say uh, Senator Jared's last name, Keheo Ko'ole. Yeah, I love him. And I, yeah, I respect him, so I try to say his name in the hearings because I am the vice chair of Hawaiian Affairs. And I'm doing my best. I practice every day. I practice every day. Okay? Right? Because why? Because I want to say his name correct because I love the guy. He's my friend. He's my brother. He's my, he's my, uh, he's my, uh, you know, colleague. So I try to respect him and try to say his name properly. I do my best. But no go tell everybody, oh, oh, I, I, I owe a little Hawaii. I, I can speak Hawaiian. You know what I said to guys who tell me that? Oh, I can speak Hawaiian. Sure. But I also give another one that I can share. Check this one out. Yeah? We know an other guy that could speak and say things like that. His name was Lucifer. Remember Lucifer? He could speak and quote scriptures better than anybody in the world. Right? That's why he got kicked out of heaven. Because again, just because you can't speak Hawaiian doesn't make you better than me, better than other people. Remember that. Because Lucifer wasn't better than God. That's why he got the boot. So don't go telling everybody because you can speak Hawaiian. Right? Yeah? Do. You guys know Do, right? Castle and Crook. Yeah? They all could, the kids could speak Hawaiian. Huh? What happened to our people? No can dance. No can speak. Yeah? Took away our language. Remember that. Infiltrated us. Learned their language. So that they can know what we were saying. And then, ban us from speaking it. Think about it now, guys. Think about it. Think about it hard. Think about it hard. You know what I mean? So again. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, look like the kind still over here. Look, speaking of Lucifer. Gotta go over there, guys. You see, he's still over there talking to the kupuna. Yeah, again, Aole, Aole Ikaika Anderson. Yeah, so the bottom line is keep Hawaiian lands out of Ikaika's hands. That's it. Bottom line, I don't want nothing to say to him, I talk to him. I don't want to have nothing to do with him. 
But I'll keep you guys on Facebook Live. Because if he does call me, I'm going to just tell him, quit. Resign. Go into retirement. Hang out in the Amron Crater in Kailua. And go cruise and go enjoy the bird sanctuary. Yeah? Don't come by me. Don't talk to me. I don't really have nothing to do with him. Yeah? So that's the bottom line. So again, again, he's over there. He's over there trying to talk to the kupuna. Right? And uh, I'm not having it. I'm not, I'm not having it. Guys, I'm really going to tell you guys right now. If you guys want to show the power of the people, I'm not asking you guys to come sign wave. Not everybody can come out and sign wave. But email and call your senators. Call them all. Let them know how you feel. Let them know that you guys are very concerned about the 600 million being spent correctly. Yeah? And done right. You don't get involved and try to reinvent the wheel. Because if we didn't reinvent the wheel, right now we would have a square. Right? Right? You guys got to remember that. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. We get 600 million, very important. We want it to be spent on our people. We want our people to have great housing, great things. But the bottom line is, we got to stop the insanity. Whoever making these calls to do this. How's that? So again, we cannot, people. And I, like I said, I love you guys all. And I have a lot of aloha for everybody. Like I said, I don't hate the guy. I don't have any anger or hate towards him. I'm just disappointed. He quit his job at the city council. Aloha. See you guys. Sorry, not having my car Don't worry. misses me all Don't worry. Up. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, Everybody yeah. else out here. Yes. Aloha. Aole, Anderson. There you go. So the bottom line is this, guys. If we're going to prosper as a people, people ask why. Why Why all of these happening? Year after year, when they murder Prince Kuhil, okay? they murder our Prince Kuhil. After he had declared the Homestead Act, he was going to put in the rules and regulation. Right now, from since the time that, that he's there, he's been, he been constantly, constantly um, knowing that he's the figure of all this. How's it, That's it. All right. But he was murdered, yeah, because people was jealous. So he was going to come, he was going to come, and he was going to make the rules. But right now, to this day, to this day, we're only running Hawaiian homes with a policy. So governor to governor to governor to governor, director to director to director, right? Policy change, right? Look how quick he came in. He never even, he never even got confirm, confirmed by the Senate yet. And then he changed the plan. He changed the whole plan that the commissioners on work hard. And they had, even though I, I know the consultation for beneficiaries is questionable, but he had. He had consultation. They had consultation. William Island and his crew, Tyler Gomes and the crew, had had consultation. Then they came up with the plan with the commissioners, and they voted for it, and that was the plan. You, you guys understand that? That's, that's how it goes. But then, you don't even go with the plan, and you're going to try to divert them. And then we asked, and, and, and Senator De La Cruz, my good brother, Senator De La Cruz, had asked him five times. What part of the plan are you going to keep? You go, no. <coughs> We're diverting. We're diverting for the plan. What? <coughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Think about it. Think about it. That's what they're doing to Prince Kuhio now. Swapping. Stealing. Lying, giving us Opala land to build Hawaiian homes, not giving us the good stuff, you know? That's the bottom line, guys. So it's very hurtful, very hurtful that we have this, this situation. You know, that 
that's the reason why, guys, when people say, oh, all the politicians the same. This is what I say to you, family and friends. I will never be a politician. I'm an elected official by the people for the people. God, community, yeah? See, I'm all frustrated. I'm gonna get slaps. I know I'm gonna get pahi. God, family, community. God, family, community. God, family, community. That's it. That's it. So, people like that, that gets into office, quit, no quit. You know, he go work for a union. Told everybody he didn't quit being city council because he got to take care of his family and his kupuna. I am the main caregiver for my dad. I have help with my sister, uh, Davina. Um, um, my wife and me is the main caregivers for my father-in-law. I find time for my kupuna. My God, right? And my community. But I don't make excuse that I can quit my job to find out you're working for the union. It's not Puno. So how are we going to trust him in this building with $600 million? How are we going to do that for us? How are we going to do that? So that's the problem I have. They got rid of my good brother Cedric. I love you, brother Cedric. I, I hope, I hope uh, you find something. You know, you're a great man. You know, pray for you and your family. Pray that they see the way and the light and bring you back here in this building. Because we, we need you. We need you, Cedric. The people of Hawaii need you. You went to every neighbor island and you made it comfortable for everybody by having everything set up correctly. From audio to Zoom, you was the man. And you did more than that. You did over and beyond your call of duty. But again, in about 20 minutes or so, 20 minutes or so, we're gonna go into the hearing. We're still gonna have people out there holding signs. Yeah, we still get regular signs. We don't have all signs that says Aole, Ikaika Anderson, yeah. So again, you know what I mean. Again, cannot. So again, he he gonna try to walk this direction, and I'm out of here. So again, I just hope he don't walk this direction because I really don't like talk to this guy. You know what I mean? So the bottom line is, um, guys, this is an important day. This is the day that we start and we as Hawaiian people make a true stand in how our money and have to say on how our money is going to be spent. Bottom line. We waited. And this is not something that they're giving to us like a charity. We deserve that money. It's the Hawaiians' money. They got our Hawaiian gold. They got our Hawaiian land. Yeah? So like I said, those things cannot happen. Yeah? So again, I'm going to wait over here and get this thing done. And just see what happens from now on. Senator, welcome to the HHL. Yeah. Okay. So again, guys. We would do what we have to do and say what we have to say. But at the end of the day, we have a very, very important decision that we have to make and the direction that we need to go. So again, we need to do what we got to do, say what we got to say. But again, love you guys. I stay over here.
Ethiopia, hoppity hoppy, trying to get my <laughs> went to the doctor to check my knees, you know. But can I help when you you wear you wear just as heavy as an elephant and try to walk on these two little legs? But anyway, love you guys, Facebook fam, Facebook land. God bless you all. Take care. Aloha. Love you guys.